spring? Yeah, there's a, there's a couple things we want to accomplish, BJ. Obviously, first and foremost is just how we compete. And in everything we do, competing with yourself first, coaches, players, and then that together will create this iron sharpens iron where we're all going to go. So that's going to be the first and foremost thing for us is in, in anything we do from a meeting room to a drill to a team period, um, we, our guys will compete in everything we do and we will hold them to that standard. So that's something I'm excited to, to continue to preach and continue to hold our guys to. And they're excited too. I mean, they've been working since January to now, and they, they can't be more excited to get out in the field and, and let it rip. And, and my hat's off to Coach Kagan and his staff. Our guys are moving and playing at a level that I'm very excited to see them go let it loose tomorrow. And so that's first and foremost for us. What about X's and O's? Or is there a position group or a, just something that you're going to be, you know, has the biggest emphasis for you or something you're going to pay attention to more this, this spring? Yeah. At this point in the season, um, even with obviously losing Kakala Kaniho, Riley Wimpy, and some other, is not focus just on the positions we lost because as a whole, and especially this time of year, is we're all competing. Just because maybe you had a good season last year or you, you played a lot last year does not mean that that is going to be handed to you this year. Like You have to show up every day with the right mentality, come to work, and then you will earn that spot in the fall. And so that's the biggest thing for all our guys. So not focused on one position group. Hey, we got to grow this group. We got to grow every single one of them. We got to go every single one of our players, every single one of our coaches, and keeping that mentality all the way through to season is going to help us. What, what's the, what kind of luxury is it for a D coordinator to have two safeties like uh, Tyreek and JL in the yeah. back end? Oh, they're, they're, they're great young men to coach, and what gets me excited is knowing how much they can still grow and seeing how many more steps they can take this offseason to be even better um, come the fall, and they are too. And having those conversations with them, not – no ambiguity, like this is exactly where we need you to grow. These are some things that will help you make these plays or help you take care of our, because they handle they handle our whole umbrella. They set the communication and, and we play off them and seeing them take ownership of that, not only on the field, but the leadership with which they handle everything is going to be huge. You mentioned Riley. He is, he is gone, right? He couldn't find another seventh year or <laughs> yeah, something. Uh... <laughs> we were working for it, but yeah, he's you know, he's done. Him and, and him and Kid Collar not only are just such great players for us, they were great leaders because how, how they played on the field, but also just how they lived, how they operated. Young kids did not have to look forward and know what do I need to do. Just watch them. Watch how they prep. Watch how they take notes. Watch how they get their body ready to practice. And so we're excited to see the other guys step on those roles. What, uh, at, with trying to replace him, I mean, it's nice luxury that you did get uh, Zeke to come back. Yep. But uh, how, what that, and I'm not telling you to give me the depth chart, but who yeah. are a couple guys there, obviously, that you see kind of ascending into bigger roles? Yeah, no, great question. I mean, especially at the Will linebacker position and nickel, we're going to have a lot of guys compete in those spots in spring because it, just like anything, nothing's going to be given, and these guys know it, and they're excited for these roles. They're excited to compete in these roles, and so there's a there's a there's quite a few guys that are going to compete at both those spots this spring, and we'll see how spring goes because the big thing for spring is we create that dependable depth, not just – okay, I'm number two on the depth chart. No, you've shown that when you get in there, the standard doesn't change. We play at a high, we play at a high level. We, put, we have a high standard for our defense. And so if it's the starter or the backup, we don't want there to be much tail off. And so getting these guys to understand it. So those two positions, I mean, it's going to be, there's going to be a lot of competition there across the board, but those two positions because of losing two guys that have played so much. And with Zeke, I mean, he's a guy that obviously has been around the block and overcome some injuries and done a lot for you. It seemed like last year at times, maybe he just was either a step slow or just not quite himself. I don't probably was still dealing with something, but I mean, just how much do you need Zeke Noah to be peak Zeke Noah this year for this defense? Oh, absolutely. And, and he knows that. And there's things that uh, he needs to grow in and he's excited to, and he has, and there's, there's a lot of things that I'm going to do a better job of with him to make sure he does. And not even just talking football, how he leads, how he leads his group. Cause he is a guy that our team looks to and Zeke Noah talks. People are going to look and see the Zeke saying, and, and how he preps and how he handles those things. So I'm excited where he is going if he continues to keep this up in regards to how he competes, how he trains, and how he handles everything, because he needs to. Played a lot of football for us and a lot of good things, but he needs to take his game to the next level, just like everybody else on our defense does. What about the D-line? And I know there's going to be some guys, maybe at least at the edge, that are going to be out with injuries and stuff in the spring, but how do you see the D-line and, and uh, you know with Frank and taking that next step this year too? Yeah, I think the dependable depth is a huge thing for those guys up front. We've seen how quickly you can lose guys up front and how it changes the dynamic of a defense because um, it's won and lost in the trenches, and, and that's where everything starts for us. So having some young guys in that will help build that dependable depth. Obviously, even our starters that have played a ton, um, they have a lot of things that they're excited to grow in, and we've been very intentional to show them, hey, this was what you did really well. But this is where we need to grow so you can take your game to the next level. So not only are you trying to be all Mountain West, you're trying to even take your game to the next level. And these guys are hungry to do that. What about a corner? Obviously, uh, you had a little rotating door with some injuries and guys last year. I know Markel's out for spring, I guess. But uh, 
you know, what, what do you make of, uh, I know what uh, Reed was hurt too. I mean, just what do you make? There's a lot of, a lot of guys probably fighting there too. Yeah. And it, it's been cool to see those guys train. We had a couple guys out for spring, so it'll even give more opportunity for these guys to get more reps and excited to see them compete. Cause it just like everywhere else. And I know I keep beating a dead horse, but there is not going to be, Hey, these are the starters. These are the backups. It's going to be a, a complete competition from, for all the groups this spring. And, they put it on film. They show that they can be consistent with how they do that. They're going to get more time, more reps. Well, what about for you, uh, just, just year two as a D coordinator, uh, you know, being the guy calling the plays and just being the guy, how much better, more comfortable do you feel going into like a spring ball for year two now? No, I'm fired up, and, I, and there's there's no place I'd rather be than right here. No no kids that I'd rather be around than these kids, and and I say that without hesitating. And, and I'm excited for myself, just like after season when we self-scout the X's and O's, I've been self-scouting myself in regards to things from leadership, motivation, to the football side of things maybe that I feel like I did a good job of and things that I have to grow in this for our team. No different when we look at our players and tell them these are what you need to grow in. My list is long in regards to things that I'm excited to grow in and, and continue to work on to make sure that we're going to be elite.